Good morning, my name's Claire. We're going to talk today about feather pecking and bullying, which can sometimes happen in hens. Um, we've had a few customers asking about it, so we thought it was quite a pertinent subject to cover this time. Um, this little lady here is a Cotswold Splash. She was one of our hens sold to a customer recently. She's called Matilda. Say hello, Matilda. She's a lovely young girl, quite young, not started laying yet. You can see she's got quite a pale um, comb and wattles there. Lovely little girl but she had a little bit of bullying when she first went to her new home. Um, unfortunately the, the new owners um, didn't manage to isolate the new hens for a little while just which is always something we recommend just while they get used to the new surroundings and the existing flock get used to the new girls settling in. Um, but she got a bit bullied, she got a bit pecked. Uh, this does happen, there are various different causes like I just said it could be new chickens to an environment to a flock. The older flock are looking at them thinking hey you're new who are you? Uh, what's happening here and they will chase them around a little bit can be can in, encourage a little bit of bullying um, also it could be if the situation the chickens are kept in is overcrowded you've got too many chickens in your run that could cause a bit of bullying um, they quite understandably understandably get a bit fed up with being cheek by jowl and being overcrowded they don't enjoy it um, they're sort of looking around get out of my space they like a bit of personal space so there'll be a bit of chasing around there could be feather pulling there um, that can be remedied obviously you need to make sure you're not overcrowded you haven't got too many chickens in your run um, the DEFRA guidelines for that are an absolute minimum of one metre square per chicken in a run. I mean, that's an absolute minimum. We like to encourage a lot more space for each chicken to, to hang about in the run than that. Um, it can be that you need to enrich it by putting straw or hay bales in the run for them to jump about and move about on. Some people like to dangle those free CDs down from a bit of twine in the run because they twinkle around a bit. And people like, the chickens like something that's bright and sparkly. They like to peck at it and play with it. So enrich it, you put in perhaps some, um, I always like to hang up in my run at home, some greens, um, just some cauliflower or cabbage leaves hanging down from the roof of the run. Um, hang them down on a bit of twine and one good trick is hang them slightly out of reach for the chickens so they're having to jump for them. It gives them a bit of exercise and something fun to do. Don't give them too many greens but just a little bit, just helps to break the boredom if they're stuck in the run on bad weather. So that sort of thing. What causes bullying? Um, it can be that you've got a, a naughty hen, a bully hen, which sometimes happens and I would take the aggressor out for a couple of days and then reintroduce her so she's back further down the pecking order you can do that as well now Matilda here got a little bit pecked um, this is a, a very typical pattern of pecking which is why her owners have brought her in for us to show to you so you can see exactly what happens now a typical pattern for pecking you've got some feathers missing here um, on the saddle at the base of the tail here and you can see there's a bit of a light flesh wound there and also there are some missing oh, there are some missing, sorry Matilda, there are some missing there just underneath the tail around her vent where her eggs come out of as well. Um, you see there's some blood that's been drawn as well. That's typical feather pecking and bullying. The ones from underneath tend to come when they're roosting at night. You might get the chickens snuggling up together and one will have a little bit little look under the base of the tail and think, oh look, let's have a little peck there. There might be some dust or something stuck to the feathers. And it just becomes into a habit. Chickens are quite good at forming naughty habits sometimes, aren't they? Um, now Matilda here, she's got some... When she was brought into us to treat, she had a nasty little flesh wound there at the base of her tail and we've treated that. Now, our first step of recourse of treatment would be to spray it with an anti-feather pecking spray. It does smell absolutely vile. It contains a compound called Bitrex. It's an ingredient which is very, very bitter. I think they use it in the anti-nail biting things you can buy from humans in the pharmacy. Now, we spray a little bit of that on the pecked areas around the chicken's rear end. Now, you have to be very careful with the dosing and be careful not to do it windy when you're standing downwind because a face full of this is really, really unpleasant. I can vouch for that. So don't breathe in. I always glove up and get somebody else to hold the chicken, hold her and then just spray it from a distance onto the feathers where she's being pecked. It does deter the other chickens from pecking at her. It's not very pleasant for them to peck. They really don't like it. They tend to sort of get a mouthful of feathers and go, <laughs> it's absolutely disgusting. It's not very nice. So spray that on. Follow the instructions very carefully about dosing and the frequency for that. That usually will stop any casual feather pecking, any feather pulling and chasing around. It sort of armours the chicken with another, another layer of of defence. If there's been a wound or blood drawn, um, there are a couple of um, first aid tips that we would suggest. Take the chicken out of the situation, obviously if there's blood been drawn, the chickens are going to be attracted to the sight and smell of it. So take her out away from the other chickens, um, spray, wash it off, just have a look at the wound, see what the damage is, see how big it is. Most small minor wounds like this one you can treat quite easily at home. Um, I would just rinse it off with some warm water or salty water, spray it with something like a wound spray. The wound spray is an antiseptic spray. 
um, it will treat it and help it to heal um, you spray it on now this particular one that we've got in stock here it's called a purple spray which would be if you're used to livestock you will recognize it actually dyes the area purple so that it, it, it deters the other chickens from being attracted to the redness of the blood they do like red I'm afraid and it deters that there is a clear version available as well um, but it, it's an antiseptic it will help with the healing if it's bleeding fairly profusely and you want to stop it bleeding you can get various different brands of veterinary wound powder now that is an antiseptic powder it contains a blood staunching agent it's absolutely fantastic I think they ought to market it for men when they're shaving or ladies shaving their legs um, because it actually stops bleeding I used it on my on my thumb the other week in the garden because I'd managed to cut my thumb and, and couldn't be bothered to go inside and get it done properly indoors but um, just rinse it under the tap and then spray some of this on it's a per it's a, a powder which comes out just shake it up puff it out like that onto the wound and it will staunch any blood and stop it from flowing so it, it's a good quick blood stauncher and it helps it to heal now Matilda here has been treated let's put this back down been treated she's well on the way to recovery she's scabbed up nicely and she's staying with us here for a couple more days while she gets fully healed so that she can go back in with her flock at home and we'd also always recommend when you're introducing new hens or putting a hen back into the flock when they've been out for a while is to put them with another friend in some separate housing for a little while just in isolation so the others can free range around them see them and get used to the sight and smell of them don't just put them in immediately because they will get chased around and it's really not fair on them to have to put up with that but she's doing very well now and um, we're almost ready to go back in with her flock